Good morning, chat. Hello, Good morning, everyone. everyone. We're, uh... We're, we're back. back at Ace Attorney. We're back at Ace Attorney. Um, and Jay's not happy about it. I am not... <laughs> Well, I'm not thrilled about it, but we're, you know, the case has been fine so far. Even though we're only one day in. And we're not even through that day. A three hour stream and we're not even through the first part of the first day of the second case. So, you know. Oh. Oh, wait a second. Waiting. Uh oh. Uh, so, chat, chat, oh, well, I'm glad you're excited, chat. Um, so, today is more Phoenix Wright, it's the, it's more of the, it's more of case two. Um, the first non-murder case, actually, which I am very, 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 I'm very interested by. Um, so, uh, an urn was stolen from a museum exhibition, one that's very important to the people of Karain Village and all of that. Uh, you, you, most of you were here. Uh, those of you that weren't, I imagine you'll be filled in. Uh... I am... This is, this is gonna be a lot. Uh, we've got a new mysterious prosecutor on the horizon. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, but I will not change how I pronounce it. Um, and I don't think there's much else more that needs to be said. Wichy, do you have anything you'd like to say? Wish us luck. Yeah, that's about right. So, <laughs> and I believe there's nothing else that needs really to be said. So, let's get on with it. Switch your view over, chat. A sturdy trilogy. Oh my god. And let's get back into case two. October 13th, 9.36 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 4. Hey, Nick! What is it? Is something wrong? Nah, but did you see all the people here? It's crazy! Yeah, they do that. Oh, so check out the mask the mask glossy I bought! What? Uh... You bought this... where? From a low tent in front of the courthouse. They have all sorts of things for sale. They're making merchandise for a court case? In front of the courthouse? You know I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. Well, I know you're a sucker. Shut the fuck up, Nick. Ask to ask publicity photo snuck stuck into the court record. <laughs> oh boy. Is it? That... Who's screaming like that? I think I know who's screaming. Oh, it's Ron. <laughs> Oh, that's right, you made it! Yeah, I did. But it doesn't look like things are gonna get any less ugly for you. <laughs> because I did it! I'm a criminal! Me, me, me! You're not supposed. Uh, he's in it again. I sent the call card to Lordly Taylor, I admit it! Just shut the fuck up! <laughs> You're not supposed to say that! But you don't have the sacred urn, right? Well, that's true, but that doesn't mean I didn't commit the crime. How many when I say, of course you didn't, I'm being sarcastic, but you... Yikes. Phoenix. Anyway, I admit that I'm guilty, so make sure they give me a guilty verdict, please. Oh, there you are, Ronnie. Bonjour, sweetie. Oh, oh. Jazzy, honey. Bon bonjour. Well, actually... I don't really know why I should be speaking French to you at a time like this. 
Leave it all to me, Ronnie. I swear I will protect you. I'm his defense attorney. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, well, uh, you see, the thief is uh, me. Can I tell you something, Nicky boy? You've been telling me a lot. I can guarantee that my Ronnie is innocent. If he's declared guilty, I'll be ever so cross of you. That? Wow. You know, I've been in a courtroom with a serial killer, and somehow I'm less threatened than that made me feel. <laughs> so why are you smiling when you say it? <laughs> because I'm never mad at people for long. Well, if you'll excuse me, I've got some rats I need to take care of. Like getting rid of other people that have made me mad. <laughs> I'm counting on you, Nikki boy. Good luck. To be honest, I really don't know whether Ron is masked to mask or not. Only one thing I am sure of. He doesn't have the sacred urn right now. Mr. Delight, it's time for you to enter the courtroom. For the time being, I guess I'll have to trust Desiree. Desiree, I have to remember how to pronounce her name. It's very difficult. French. It's one of the only languages more annoying than English. <laughs> oh shit, that's Gato? Join us now in session for the trial of Mr. Ron Delight. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Damn. Nice glasses, bro. <laughs> I like the ears. Actually, I- wow. I actually really like his design. That is a fucking anime character right there, though. What about yeah. the prosecution? Are you prepared to? What a stupid question. What did you say? Fine. Let me ask you then, Your Honor. Are you ready? Are you ready to pass judgment? <laughs> no! No, I'm not! I will pass judgment after I hear arguments from both sides. Then, if you're not ready yourself, you shouldn't expect others to be. That's the rule to live by. Um, uh, who are you? I am Gado, legendary prosecutor. I've never lost a case. Yeah, you and everyone else I'm in the courtroom with. He's the one detective Ed Mia was talking about. Yes, your reputation precedes you. Then why the fuck did I need to ask who you are? What kind of cases have you dealt with so far? Ha! Huh. None. Oh. It's a little less threatening now. It's a little less impressive now, Gato. What did you say? I've never prosecuted a case before. Ever? But you said you've never lost before. Exactly. I've never lost. I've never won before either. Quite arrogant for a beginner, aren't you? Even the mightiest of Redwoods begin their lives as mere saplings. Yes, but a mask in a court of law? Ha! <laughs> Don't you know anything? No matter the man, we all wear masks. Either on our faces or over our hearts. Jesus fucking This Christ. man just got finished playing fucking Persona 5 and he thinks he knows all about <laughs> psychology. This guy's the real deal, alright, Nick? He's really something. It doesn't seem like all prosecutors are the real deal. So, we finally meet, Mr. Phoenix Trite. Trite? Nick, is he a friend of yours? Well, he turned my last name into an insult, so I'm gonna say no. No, I don't have any friends that call me trite. You probably could have ended that sentence like four words early, Phoenix. <laughs> Who is this masked man? I have returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. Well then, eh, prosecutor Gabo? It's not Gobbo, it's Gotto, your honor. In any case, please give your opening statement. Opening statement? Those things are not fit for even dogs to consume. I have only one thing to say before we start. To you, Mr. Trite. What is it? Are you familiar with the saying, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link? I wonder how much you can withstand before you and your case break in two. Oh, there's just no music here, okay. <laughs> I thought it was because I didn't have the volume on, but there's just no music. Hmm. 
Now then, let's hear from the first witness. Hey, it's Gumshoe. Uh, my name is... No one has asked for your name, witness. The important thing is what you know. That's all. We're talking. We're listening. Yes, sir. All right, witness. First, let's hear about what you know about the thief that stole the earth. Yes, sir. Master Mask's Crimes. Master Mask is a master thief that first started his crime spree six months ago. He's so confident he sends his call in God before he even commits the crime. This was his fifth heist, and as usual, he sent a card on to Lowly Taylor. His madness to always go after only the most precious art piece. That's why we're sure it was Mask to Mask, sir. It fits his M.O. to a T. Uh, the Sacred mm -hmm. Earth wasn't an art piece, though. Yeah, it's also it was... not very interesting to look at. Yeah, uh, it was a <laughs> Yeah, it's just a fucking blue urn. Yeah, supposedly priceless, but has no monetary value. Just a pot. Mm -hmm. Also broken. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so then the actual identity of this mask to mask is... Mr. Gatto, what are you? Oh, boy. Uh... We're in the middle of a trial here, Mr. Gatto. Better than a moonless night. Hotter and more bitter than hell itself. That is awful. I'm sure you can grant me at least this much, Your Honor. Oh, please, proceed. Very well. It's only copy, after all. What? You can't be letting him slide this early in the trial! Proceed with your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Well, Nick, what are you going to do? I mean, I wouldn't say no to a coffee myself. <laughs> as long as they haven't brought up Mr. Delight's identity, all we can do is show that it wasn't Mask to Mask who stole the urn. Hmm. Okay, so let's ask him about the urn part. Christ. Most precious yes. art pieces. So, present the urn, or should we just press him? Uh, let's ask him more. We need... Art pieces? Like what, for example? Well, his first target was the famous Tear of a Man. What's that? Some kind of a specially salty teardrop? No, sir. It's a blue diamond. A single rare diamond. Next was the crown of Bangora, you know, the thing you put on your head. After that was the left hand of Hades, and then the portrait of Magina, sir. The detective Abby retrieved the portrait of Magina and returned it to the museum. And the target of his fifth and last robbery was the sacred urn, right? But isn't it difficult for him to dispose of such famous art pieces? Well, we assume he must have some underworld connections. Somehow Mr. Delight doesn't look the type. Yeah, he's a little too sunny to be hanging out in the underworld. Even the metaphorical <laughs> one. I was sure it was mask to mask. Okay. What the other four it? things were clearly very valuable, but this one is only supposedly priceless. And you'd think of anyone that doesn't have... Like, of anyone... Someone that their whole deal is stealing and reselling valuable art would understand that this art doesn't... This arch, in heavy quotes, doesn't have any actual monetary value because even if there was a soul in it, it broke, so the soul that would have been in it isn't anymore. Right? Or am I crazy? You're crazy, but this could work, so we'll proceed. Okay, well, thanks, Witchy. <laughs> You're always welcome. Can I ask you a little something, Detective Gumshoe? Just hearing the little on that question is making me nervous. See, he knows by now. He knows the shit we get up to. You said he always goes after the most precious art pieces, right? That's right, pal. But there's one problem. That's not what he did in this case. The supposedly priceless urn doesn't exactly rise to the level of precious art. What do you mean? How can you say such terrible things? I fucking fuck! <laughs> Spirit, money, and real world dollars are different things, Baya. <laughs> I can't buy a cheeseburger with spiritual value. 
No, I mean from a financial point of view. I mean, it wouldn't fetch a good price. Well, fresh cutie gato, what is the value of that herb? The appraisers I spoke to said they couldn't attach a price. And I mean that in the worst sense. Oh, in other words, it was not the kind of item that Mask to Mask would normally go after. <laughs> huh. I understand you correctly, Mr. Wright. You're saying that the theft of the sacred urn was not the work of Mask to Mask? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Actually, all I did was point out the contradiction. The argument made itself, but... Well, first of all, we need to get this issue cleared up. Was this last robbery the work of Mask to Mask or not? What do you have to say about this, Mr. Gatto? This coffee here. It's my own special blend. I call it Godo 107. I'm trying to decide whether to cut down on the acidity or the bitterness. That's the only thing I've got on my mind right now, Mr. Trice. What? If you're really a man, you should clean up your own mess. Uh, sorry, but I don't get what you mean. If you're saying it wasn't Mask the Mask that stole this urn, then it must be someone imitating Mask the Mask's methods. A fake. A fake? A fake the Mask? Fake the Mask? That sounds ridiculous, but I like it. Well, you're a spirit medium. I don't think either of us get to comment on what sounds ridiculous anymore. Now, before I decide on my coffee, I believe some proof is in order, Mr. Strikes. Proof that the person who appeared at Lordly Taylor that night was actually a fake. And how are we supposed to do that? Also, that's... Okay, I get proving that it was a fake. But if they ask me to decide, alright, then who was the fake? That's not my fucking job. <laughs> <laughs> and I know they're gonna do that because this is Phoenix Wright, and that's 100% what they're gonna ask of me after that. All right, we're waiting. I think I'm gonna have to prove it. Proof that the person in the birthday tale that night was, in fact, fake Damask. Uh, the. this. Uh. uh. Mask Damask uh. is a master criminal. What? You wouldn't make the. Confident as he is, being caught on security cameras would not involve the blunder of... That would just be... Wait a second. Wait a second. He doesn't have the crest on his chest. Look at his oh, collar. Yeah. That big, gaudy-ass gold thing. Yeah, he doesn't have it. I knew something was off. The proof is right here. Right. Yeah, this looks like a photo taken by a security camera. If you look closely, you'll notice something peculiar about it. Huh. Well then, why don't you go ahead and show us what it is? Go on. Use this pointer and show us just what about this picture is so peculiar. That. It's right here, of course. I mean, mask to mask? I have here a piece of reference I would like the court to take a look at. Isn't that the policy photo I bought this morning? It's evidence now, Maya. <laughs> The problem I have with the security camera photo is the brooch on Mask to Mask's chest. A breach? Here? Bailiff, get my steed! We need to retreat at once! Your a, Honor. A brooch, Your Honor. It's sort of a clasp for holding one's cape on. I have one for my wizard cloak. <laughs> Nick? <laughs> oh, me. A clasp, eh? I see now. Uh, but Mask the Mask in the security camera photo... Ah! He has no brooch! That brooch is the same as the emblem on Damask's calling card and serves as his symbol. But the thief that broke into Lordly Taylor wasn't wearing a brooch. In other words, this Mask Damask is a fake. <laughs> I've been fooled again! How have I not been fired? Well, permanently. I've been fired, but it didn't really stick. Hey, order! 
It's true! Undeniably true! You make him gum shoe! How could you have overlooked this? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I don't know how I... <sighs> hey now! <laughs> You're an all-star! Get your cake up! <laughs> if you're gonna have a pity party, invite me too. Mr. Gatto, you deserve some blame for this too! How could you overlook such a large brooch? <laughs> the brooch you're talking about? Do you mean this? That's Master Mask's brooch! Where did you find it? Well, I've always had a good nose for evidence. I got it at the crime scene. It was hidden in the shadow of the big female Buddha statue. Buddha statue? You must mean the Amy Faye statue. Why didn't you tell me about that, sir? I always put evidence away in my pocket. That's, that's tapering of the crime scene, Mr. Gatto. After all, it's the safest place for crucial evidence. <laughs> this guy is one cool customer. It's a little early to be shaken up, isn't it, little lady? Yes, that's right. I can hear you from here. <laughs> that friend of yours left pretty little hickeys on there, too. Figuratively speaking, of course. I'm referring to from the light fingerprints. Oh, what? The defendant's fingerprints are on the brooch? Order! Order in the court! Mr. Gatto! Let's see that brooch! I've grown attached to my metallic girlfriend here. Yeah. Good character. Hmm. She, uh, I mean, it appears to have been torn off some clothing. A little bit of cloth left on the back. Why did we not send this to a forensic team immediately? <laughs> Obviously, there must have been a big struggle that night at the crime scene. Uh oh. Phoenix, we have a problem. <laughs> you mess with Godo. And you get burned. Uh, playing me like a violin. Well, Judge, I'm about ready to call my next witness. Oh, you're done with me? I haven't proved anything yet. You've proven your own incompetence. That's good enough. It doesn't sound good at all. Gumshoe, do you not know what the word incompetence means? Hey, enough! Bring the next witness into the courtroom! Finally time for the ace detective to make his appearance, huh? Oh god. Oh, Fucking you- guy. <laughs> <laughs> one second is one drip of the coffee pot. Let's hurry it up. Silence! <laughs> <laughs> now I see. Now it's all becoming clear. Fire! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. What we have here is a judge and a prosecutor. A coffee maniac, I said. Am I correct? Well, yes, that's right. Huh. Not bad. Not bad at all. You're the first person that's ever been able to penetrate my secret veil. Where's the prosecutor? Let me introduce myself. My name is Luke Atman, ace detective and rising star illuminating the heavens. Boy, these two make a perfect pair. They need to be best friends or they tear each other's heads off. I heard on the night of the crime you were all alone on security detail. You have heard correctly. My specially made monocle is worth more than a hundred detective gum shoes. Literally, it's made of silver and he is not paid much. If detective gum shoe was worth anything, that is. Uh, who is this guy all by himself anyway? For some reason, I'm sure of it. Well then, tell us what this special monocle of yours witnessed. <laughs> what oh, so I witnessed. It was approximately one o'clock in the morning, just after the date changed. That's when my nemesis, the infamous Mask de Mask, dancingly descended upon me. Just as I began to turn, the crow had struck a fierce blow upon my noble head. Darkness swallowed me before I could land a single strike. When I awoke, he was gone. Thirty minutes later, I used an emergency phone to notify the police. But that doesn't work. Yeah, and uh, because with the, the brooch, there was a f there was clearly a fight. 
Yeah, and uh, on the photo, on the crime scene, it was pointing uh, oh, 43 a.m. Wait, can I look at the photo? Yeah, security camera photo. Approximately 1 a.m. Oh. So that much uh -huh. is accurate, but it was at 1 a.m. when he showed up just after the date change. 1 a.m. just after the date change. So you didn't get a clear look at the criminal? I especially made monocle never misses a thing. However, that is I got I'm sorry, I my voice got a little too normal for a minute there. However, that is limited to things that fall within my own visual range. But of course that's only natural. I failed to see why the witness seemed so proud of his performance that evening. Well, sir old timer, let me explain. We are not me, you very ordinary thief, but the king of thieves, the great Mask Damask, my arch enemy. That is why my instincts and mere years of experience tell me. Eh, very well. Prosecutor, proceed with the cross exam. No, oh, hold on, not prosecutor. Uh, you oh my god. Keep drinking your coffee. I'm very old. Uh, proceed <laughs> with the cross examination, Mr. Wright. What? I want to press that statement. Uh, that, um... That when he got knocked out. Statement. Mm -hmm. Attacked and knocked unconscious, and you weren't able to do a thing. That's certainly some very impressive detective work. Phoenix, <laughs> what do you think happens when you're knocked unconscious? Also, lawyer, have you ever been suddenly struck on the head? Actually, you know, <laughs> detective, you'd be surprised. Huh? Well, actually, yes, by a fire extinguisher. And what happened? I was knocked out. And you lost your memory too. Uh huh. Yeah, let's just talk all about the ways I'm fucked up. You see, you have no right to look down on me, then, do you? The only reason I didn't lose my memory was because I have more brains to begin with. Okay, rude, uncalled for. Is there a is there a poor sportsmanship charge in court? <laughs> they have brains, but the wiring to the self-reflection part seems to be severed. In any case, that was how I was knocked senseless. And then, thirty minutes later, I used the reverse phone. I wanna, I wanna. Show Damask's brooch because there was a there was a fight. Yeah. Unless someone else was fighting. Yeah, it was torn off some clothing. Found in the shadow of the Amyface statue. Objection! Mr. Atme, did you take a look at this with that special monocle of yours? Aha! <laughs> this belongs to the criminal, my arch nemesis, Mask Damask. It is, in point of fact, Mask Dibask's brooch. It was found on the floor of the basement warehouse. I wonder how that happened. Ha! Elementary, my dear lawyer. Obviously, it wasn't glued on well enough. That's not how brooches work. Yeah. Uh-uh. Not quite. It clearly shows signs of having been ripped off a piece of clothing. Ripped off? ah -ha! Judge, you determined that. We can only deduce that the thief struggled with someone that night. That's the only thing I can think of. And there's only one person that was in a position to have a struggle with the thief. The only person that was on security duty that night. You, Detective Atme. <laughs> Detective Atme, you must have fought with the thief that night. So, why did you lie in your testimony to the court? Witness! Giving false testimony is a serious crime! Ooh, your honor. I've been saying that for years. Just get a screenshot <laughs> that. No! Oh, just wait a moment, sir, old timer. Don't touch me like I'm living in a nursing home. I mean, you probably should be. <laughs> I just remembered your honor. I was just confused because I've been dealing with so many cases lately. The true measure of a man is the amount of work he does. That's what I always say. 
Wait, you can only handle one case at a time, isn't that right? Well, that's because the cases I have to deal with are some of the most convoluted bullshit ever created, Maya. You talk too much! Hey, chat. You finally said it! Witness! So you are now saying that you and the thief fought? Oh, hold on. That's quite enough, Your Honor. Oh, hey! Excuse me? Save the big questions for the testimony. That's one of my rules. Indeed, I understand. I look at me. Agree completely. Fight with the thief. Turn the gain on my microphone down a little. There we go. Indeed, it's true that I looked away from the door for a brief moment. However, look at me cannot be so easily discombobulated. Unfortunately, the thief grabbed a weapon from this eye and rendered me senseless. A true gentleman fights only with his own fists. They were not enough. His first blow struck true. Bam! And that's all she wrote. He was struck with the sword. A mustache she was holding, right? I think so. Well, in the end, you did catch a glimpse of mask to mask? Correct. It was during his third crime that he struck me from behind. It seems that my memory has become a tad jumbled, so to speak. As it turns out, several blows to the head are not healthy for one's psyche. <laughs> oh, well, that's certainly understandable. I myself always get confused about which testimony goes to which case. Your Honor, um... <sighs> deep breaths, Phoenix. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Deep breaths, Jay. <laughs> that can't be good. Fight with the thief. Okay. Look away from the door for a brief moment. Push the thief grab door from the side of the case. He see the weapon. What do you mean by weapon from the side? Actually, that thief had no idea that I, Luke Atby, was hiding in the area. He grabbed the sword from the statue that was standing by the door to the warehouse. The sword? You mean the sword that was all twisted like a tree branch? Correct. Fortunately for me, their blade was not sharp. Okay, so he is talking about the Shichishido. Did the thief armed himself with the sword? What about yourself, witness? Two gentlemen fights only his fist. That's it? I mean, I guess you did get hit in the head with an old sword. Can you tell us a little more about what happened? My opponent is, was both powerful and vicious. You might say he was powerishous. How? Powerishous? I assumed the actually like fighting him? stats, but a sudden flash of light blinded me. That, of course, was checkmate. My opponent had best of me. What do I do now? Can I ask more about this? The fuck is the at me fighting style? What is this at me fighting style? I'm sorry, but that's a trade secret. I really can't say more. You in the court! But I suppose I can tell you if I absolutely must. The main thing is to put your back to the wall. That way no one can get behind you. Didn't he hit you from behind? That's the at me fighting style. Hmm. Well, Mr. Ray, what about that testimony? That was important. His whole thing was that he got hit from behind. Remember? Yeah. Of course it's important. We've learned a detective's secret technique after all. Yes, indeed. I remember to use it if I ever take a walk alone late at night. Why is he eyeballing me like that? He's giving me out. I'll fuck you up, Mr. Wright. <laughs> now then, witness. Go ahead and add that secret information to your official testimony. Back to the wall. Wait a second. But you get to more discussion. With a blow to the back of the head. I took my back to the wall to fight, but the fifth blow let it upon my third eye. Which is a metaphor is for the eye in your, the back of your head. Yep. But that wouldn't make sense. So he couldn't. If he was in, it was really in his fighting style, he couldn't have been in a fight with Master Mask. 
Mm-hmm. Oh my god, you're right. Detective Adley, your cr your testimony is crumbling like a house of cards. What fun this is, Sir Lawyer. It is truly a pleasure to cross swords with you. And now, once again, you have thrown down the gauntlet at my armored feet. I believe this is what you said yesterday. Oh, the coward must have wormed his way in through somewhere besides the door. And my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with this gruesome item here. I'm behind, huh? But just now you testified that he struck you on the forehead. Oh, third eye, like, um... Yeah, the forehead. Yeah. Like tension hum. Yeah. I hardly think you could forget where you were hit on the head. <laughs> Seems. I made another mistake. Detective Atme, that's not the only strange part of your testimony. What do you mean by that? For example, the very fact that you hid the calling card from the police itself is strange. It's almost as if you were afraid they were going to help with security. Jesus, as such as myself, I've always been misunderstood. How sad. That's wrong. To err is human, but forgive to buy. Humans are machines. They have souls, feelings. They live, they die, they love, they hate. Yes, they even make mistakes. Hey, hold on. It's not as pretty as that. Really? What is it like then? Always chase a riddle down to the end. That's one of my rules. You guys got a lot of rules. This is it. This might be my chance to turn things around. Mr. Wright, what exactly is it that you're asserting? Very well, Your Honor. The defense asserts that... Why wouldn't he want other security in the area? So that <laughs> he could steal it. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> Just in case! Okay. Red. The answer is simple. It's all clear to me now. Detective Luke Atme's true identity is actually Mask to Mask. Ah! Order! Order in the court! Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? There are too many unnatural parts to Mr. Atme's story. He says he was hiding at the crime scenes, which is why no one ever saw him there. And then, in his last case, he manages to outperform Detective Gumshoe and the entire police force to miraculously retrieve the stolen treasure. That's because I analyzed the crime scene data and made an exquisitely elegant deduction. I picked up clues that the police overlooked in order to arrive at sir. Oh, please. The explanation is far more simple than that, Mr. Detective Atme. The truth is that you are, in fact, Mask to Mask. Yeah. But Mr. Wright, this photo, it clearly shows Mask to Mask. This security camera belongs to the Lord Retailer Department Store. He should have been able to manipulate it. He didn't need to manipulate it. He gained access to the warehouse under the pretense of providing security. Then he simply dressed up as the thief and stole the urn. So this ace detective is actually an ace thief! Is this true, witness? Master <laughs> 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 Demasiano is pure genius, and so am I. Look at me, ace detective. You're very clever to have come to such a conclusion. I am impressed, Sir Lawyer. What? Witness? You? You're admitting it? Yeah, now's your chance! Yes, time to put the last nail in this guy's coffin. Detective Atme, when you assume the thief's identity... What? Ow! Oh my... God of Blend 102. My personal favorite. Mr. Huh. Gatto! The ace detective is actually an ace thief. I smell a best-selling novel. There's only one problem. It simply isn't true. But Mr. Gatto! Mr. Wright has made some very strong points! Hey! I will admit my opponent has woven a compelling narrative out of this cloth. But it is, in fact, nothing more than a patchwork quilt. Mr. Trite, if this detective really is the thief, then show us the proof of your claim. But it had better be as hot, and as perfect as the coffee dripping down your face. 
This is actually really dangerous. Aya, towel, napkin, please. I only have this little handkerchief. Oh, uh, I can't relax to see this. It's nice to prove you have quickly. Huh? Oh, yes, of course. It's the big rush. Are you all right, Nick? I think he's come to the same conclusion I have. Abby looks pretty rattled right now. I'd like to finish this right now if I can. But can I really do it? The decisive evidence that proves Mr. Luke at me is in fact mask to mask. Okay, I'm so not sure about this one. We don't have do it. Do we really? We don't have it. We don't have it because we don't know where the sacred urn is. But if we could find it... Let me check something. Is he wearing gloves? Yeah, but I guess real he must have handled awesome. it after He could have handled it after it was out. <laughs> you don't have the urn. And the urn mm -hmm. is absolutely what we're going to need. But we don't have it. Because it's been stolen, mm -hmm. and the only person that would know where it is is the real Mask Damask. Proof? Of course I... I... I got nothing. <laughs> Just what I thought. A man has to hold his head up high no matter how bad things get after all. I see! In fact, perhaps you had some evidence to back up your assertion. This is no good. I've got to stay on the attack. I'll never get another chance to prove that this guy's the thief. Don't give up, Nick. Think harder and try again. It's no good. It's not ready yet. But are you going to just give up and let us lose this? So, you've come to your senses, have you, sir, lawyer? Urgh! Can't think of a counterattack at all. See, the cloud of suspicion surrounding this witness is lifted. Mr. Gatto, you have anything further? Where? Who? Oh, hey. Who are you? It doesn't really matter right now, does it? I shoved the detective out of the way. I hope that was okay. <laughs> Mr. Light, what are you doing here? Nicky boy. The thing you've been looking for, I think I found it. Wait a minute. What? What? Haven't we seen that um, bag before? Um, oh, I was in Edmi's. That was in Edmi's oh. office. Yeah, on his table. You mean, in that bag? No, not the bag. What's in the bag? Well... Although the bag is very nice and I will be keeping it. <laughs> That's... It's the sacred urn! Nick, it's the urn! Woohoo! Um... Wait... This is strange... Order! 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 You! Madame! That urn! Where did you find it? You will never believe it. He was in the office of Mr. Fancy Pants A Detective to look at me. Oh, Desi, you're the best! Sacred Urn updated in the court record. Found in the office of Luke at me. Has pink splotches all over it. Like the paint! Well, how do you explain that one, Mr. At me? Even you are gonna have a hard time weaseling out of this one. Objection! <laughs> Pathetic. Mr. Gatto! You have something you wish to say? Yes, Your Honor. It simply amazes me how quickly times change. In the old days, a man was to be taken at his word. It is sad. You're still denying that Mr. Atme was involved? For casting aspersions at Detective Atme, consider the young lady here. Your name is Desiree. Desiree Delight. Is that correct? Yes. What about it? <laughs> How charming. The lengths that a woman is willing to go to save her husband is truly inspiring. 
Why do you insist? As the wife of the criminal, you could have discovered that stolen urn anywhere. Including the office of the good detective here. Oh, you found the urn. What does that prove? It certainly doesn't prove where the urn was before you found it. What? I just brought it here from the detective's office. Please, madame. This town is already filled to the brim with lies. Any more could only compound the tragedy we have been witness to. You're wrong! I would never... I would never do such a thing! That's, um... Mr. Light. Please, Nikki boy, you've got to help me talk some sense into these people. There must be some way. Gotta prove that Ern was actually in the Abbey Detective Agency. Thingies! Um... <laughs> I can prove where the Ern was. By the fingerprints on it. Fingerprints, eh? Oh wait, Abby's fingerprints wouldn't be on it. But ours would be. Because that was that was the thing that was in the bag! Phoenix like half pulled it out with his bare hands, so Phoenix's fingerprints would be on it. Uh oh. Because Luke at me wears gloves. Yeah, now you're really we... making me laugh, Sir Lawyer. Huh? Fingerprints, indeed. May I go on? Good. Now, it would be perfectly understandable if my fingerprints were on the urn. After all, it was I who was guarding the urn in the first place. In any case, I am always in the habit of wearing gloves, as you can see. So unfortunately, my fingerprints wouldn't be evidence of anything. What about it, Mr. Ray? This witness's fingerprints would mean nothing anyway. Going to do now. The same thing I've been doing for three games. Make it up as I go. Is Come too far to turn back now. Abby must have brought the urn back to his office yesterday. There I'm sure someone must have left the fingerprints on it. The defense proposes that the fingerprints of this person should be on the urn. Phoenix Wright. Are right? you sure about <laughs> Are you Absolutely sure about that. Let's find out. <laughs> oh my. So what is all this fuss about fingerprints anyway? Mr. Atme, do you recall the events of yesterday? Hey Nick, come on, open it up. Oh right. Hey, wait a minute. You can't just open his private property. Don't be such a body buddy. This is important investigation. Well, what's in there? Hang on a sec. Taking it out now. Whatever it is, it feels kind of hard. Smooth. Say hello there! It's true that I didn't get a chance to look in the bag at the time. But I did touch what was inside. What? You touched it? And I remember it very well. It was smooth and hard. Like my <laughs> biceps. <laughs> I'm ripped, you see. And I shave irregularly. Well, uh, that was just... Where would you make me imagine that? Why? Your Honor, Why? I'd like the court to examine the fingerprints on that urn. My fingerprints are on there, then it proves the urn was in Detective Atlas' office. Even if your fingerprints are on the air, that doesn't prove when they were put there, does it? Of course it does. What did you say? It's not what I say, but what Adrian Andrews, the person in charge of the exhibition, said. Polished it until it was just about glowing. I thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. <laughs> what is it? It looked valuable. If she polished it that much, she must have removed any and all fingerprints on it. And the only chance I had to get my fingerprints on it after that was yesterday at the Atme Detective Agency. Huh. This blend 
Godo Blend 107. I've decided it's a little too bitter after all. <laughs> order! 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 I accept the defense's request! Bailiff, take this ad! Wait! Wait a moment, Your Honor. There's no need for that. No need, you say? Um... Precisely. I already know Mr. Wright's fingerprints are on the air. Uh -huh. What are you saying? Yes, I've finally broken him down. <laughs> Take a good look, everyone! Unable to find a, worthy, a rival worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself. Here I am, the tragic clown! This guy is not here than the fruitcake. You see? It was me all along! I am the one that taught me mask to mask! <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed my little performance! <laughs> this, um... Well, Mr. Gatto, what's Mr. Atme's condition? Still in the lobby, laughing insanely, Your Honor. I wish I could enjoy the joke as much as he seems to be. Well, it looks like the bastard banner's been settled. I came very so close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man. Besmirching him with the title of thief. I think you were right after all. Woohoo! Yeah, I guess Mr. Delight really wasn't the thief. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me! You- Ron? Ronnie? Ron! What, what are you- You're wrong! Wrong, I tell you! Uh, I mean, not exactly wrong so much, but actually not right is what I was really trying to say. Oh no. He's not- This can't be happening! Please! <laughs> Sneaky, odious thief has been stealing all the treasures! It's me! I'm him! I'm the one you want! I'm the thief, I tell you! Don't do it! Pronounce me guilty, please! I don't know what kind of a kangaroo court you all think this is, but... True identity of the thief has already been proven. Please hurry and pass it. What are you talking about? I already confessed! I'm the thief, I tell you! They'd be like, what the fuck are you doing, Ronnie? Well, I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I'll take this. Mr. Gatto, don't just stand there drinking coffee! <laughs> hey there, Mr. Thief. Yes? Yes, sir? If you're really a man, then clean up your own mess. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I just don't have any idea what you mean. If you are Mask de Mask, then prove it. That's what it means. Yes, sir! I'll be happy to! He said he'll be happy to, Nick. I know, and I'm going to strangle him. Kinda of cute. He's hundred percent committed to his fantasy. A good boy. Just remember one thing. A boy only gets one chance in his life to become a man. I I'm married. I I know that. I won't fail. I swear. Okay then. Talk. They're all listening. Oh well. Let's all have a listen to this confession. Boy, Ron, why do you have to screw For this sake, up? For sake, Ronnie. Mask to Mask's identity. The truth is, I've been Mask to Mask all along! I mean, you can't prove that I'm not actually Mask to Mask, can you? That's- you're asking me to prove a negative. That's not how that works. We have a I have to prove you- What the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you like this? Why are you like this? <laughs> I don't have an alibi for the night the urn was stolen, after all. I donned my costume that night and dancingly descended upon the scene of the crime! Look! You can see it right there in the photo! That's me! Okay. Ronnie. That's when I broached. I stanked it on the door handle and it got torn off. That's all. Uh, I don't like the direction this trial is taken. Green shot. <laughs> This is how every trial goes. At least with me, anyway. No oh. feeling. I can't do Antonio Banderas. You're doing great. 
stop it, Mr. Gatto. You're embarrassing me. Like I said, you're only going to get one chance to testify, all right? But if you make it through this with flying colors, I'll keep my promise, too. I'll make sure you stay locked up in prison as the one and only true Mask de Mask. Thanks so much, Mr. Gatto. I'll, I'll do my best. What the fuck is going on? Just, what about your wife? Yeah, like, you have a life. Loved ones. How the fuck did you land Desiree? <laughs> like, she is like a 10. Both in looks and personality. How the fuck are you trying to fumble that? Alright, Mr. Wright, I'm afraid it's time for the cross-examination. <sighs> <sighs> Oh, she, Felix, we're really in it now. What about the letter? Yes, oh, yes oh. I do, actually. Uh, your keycard. Yep. Mr. Delight, this wallet belongs to you, correct? Ah, yes, it does. I lost it somewhere. Mr. Wright, when you find a wallet, you should report it to the police right away. Uh, no, you don't understand. This is an important piece of evidence. Evidence? The hell is that? Mr. Delight, when did you first notice you'd lost your wallet? Uh, let's see. I think it was on the night of the crime. Even I, but I know I still had it when Desi and I went out for dinner. This wallet was found at approximately 1 a.m. at KB Security Headquarters. What? You sure you're not serious? Yes, I am serious. This proves that Mr. Delight was in fact at KB Security that night. Oh! Hey, wait, 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 wait. Then that proves that he has a watertight alibi. No! Furthermore, considering the distance between Lordly Taylor and KB Security, it would have taken 30 minutes to get there by car. According to Larry, anyway. But maybe we don't mention that part. Well, Mr. Gatto, do you have anything to say? And stop drinking that coffee! Come on, Mr. Thief. Don't let this guy beat you. Tell him why he's wrong. You're the only one who calls me Thief, Mr. Gatto. Alright, I'll try. I'll do it. I will! He's really got me so delight all worked up. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's like a kid on his first day of school. Look, it's just ridiculous! Why would I have dropped my wallet and gave me security? Someone must have planted it there to make it look like I was there and not at the heist. Planted it in there? He's really rich now. Planted it? Planted it to make it look like you didn't do the crime. Is it, um... Mr. Delight, you probably dropped your wallet when you took it out to use this, didn't you? The key card to KB Security's CEO's office. Oh! <laughs> that was a pretty good try, Mr. Trite. Unfortunately, you overlooked one small thing. What? Motive, of course. Why would the thief go to secure KB Security in the middle of the night anyway? Well, Mr. Wright, you think you need some more evidence after all? The letter! Stupid the black my letter! Yeah! I went to KB Security at 1am that night. KB Security at 1am on October 12th to bring 50 grand! Whee! Take that! Mr. Dolight, I believe you've seen this before, correct? Ah, that's... What is it? A blackmail letter. That's what it looks like from the contents. Blackmail. Oh. Yeah, basically it says bring $50,000. Yeah, it certainly sounds like blackmail, alright. 
At the time of the theft, Mr. Delight was dealing with the blackmailer himself. In KB Security's CEO office, a full half hour away from the scene of the crime. No, no, no! Order! 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 He's over the theft of the order card, the defendant was in KB Security! It looks like a perfect case for the defense! You may see it as a perfect case, Judge, but to me... Let's just say that my god will blend when I'm sending that press me a lot more. What are you trying to say? You say the thief was being blackmailed by the CEO of a security company. But did you actually investigate this CEO at all? Huh? Well, uh... No, I guess not. Accusing him of blackmail with no proof? I'm not sure what I think of that. I'm not sure what I think of that. At least I know what I think of you. Hmm. Good point! I'm not sure what I think of it myself. Claim that the defendant entered the CEO's office. You'll need at least one witness to corroborate your claim, Mr. Wright. Oh, need the no. secret door to have a track down the CEO guy. Wait. No, we don't have to track down the CEO at all. You mean by that, Mr. Wright? There's someone else who can testify. Oh, uh, no. This is the oh, person God. who can testify that the key card was used at 1 a.m. that night. Larry. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> who is this useless looking young man? What the fuck, Mr. Jones? <laughs> you don't remember him, Your Honor? Hmm. Not exactly. But just looking at his picture makes the bile start to rise in my throat. Holy shit, Judge. Oh, it's me. Sorry. Uh, it looks like he doesn't remember the case from two years ago. He probably blocked out that memory on purpose. Anyway, this man was working as a guard at KB Security that night. Uh-huh. The question at hand is this key card. Yep, yeah, that's the key card they used in the building where I work. According to the serial number, this one is for the CEO's office. You need it to get into that room, and every time you use that card, it leaves a record. Ha! Yeah, it tells you exactly who entered the room and when. Hmm. As you can see, there's no need to investigate the CEO of KB Security. He should be able to discover the truth simply by analyzing this key card's data. Gatto? The name of the CEO of KB Security is Kane Bolt. I was unable to contact him directly, but I got the keycard data. Here. So what is the show? This keycard has its own serial number, and they leave detailed records of their use. According to this data, this card was used at 1 a.m. on the morning of the crime. That means it can be Mr. Delight dressed up as Master Mask in this photo. <laughs> it looks like you're right. Two minutes isn't even enough time to brew a good cup of joe. So, so then... Ron Delight was clearly in the office of KB Security CEO at the time of the crime. Prosecutor's office is ready to admit that fact. Therefore, it's impossible for the defendant to be Master Mask. Yeah, you did it, Nick! Woohoo! Sophie tells me it's not gonna be that easy. That's enough! That came barely close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man! Besmirching it with the title of thief! What's wrong, Your Honor? I'm ready to pass judgment. But before I do that, do you have any further objections? No, Your Honor. <laughs> Very well! This court mm -hmm. finds the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight. Not guilty. <laughs> Woo! Throw the confetti, motherfuckers, I'm I am you such a good defense that? attorney. Court is now adjourned. What is that, the third defendant I've had that's actively tried to admit their guilt in court and I still got the not guilty? <laughs>
To be fair, Ron is much less convincing than Edgeworth or uh, Lana were. Mm-hmm. October 13th, 2.24 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby, number four. Ha-ha! <laughs> Victory! You were right after all! I was always right. Actually, I'm a little bit ashamed of myself. Nicky boy! Oh, Miss Delight! I knew you could do it. I believed in you all along, Nicky boy! I don't know how I can even repay you. I don't know, maybe put your husband on some antipsychotics or something? Yes, please. Oh, shucks. Thanks, Miss Delight. Oh, I'm blushing. Congratulations, Mr. Nick! Oh, pearls! I've got a bad feeling about this. This is your new uh -oh. mother. Um... I'm leaving you with the delights, Pearls. Uh... Oh, she's nobody. She is a, uh... Wife yeah, of a yeah. client. How dare you do this in front of Mystic Maya! Mystic Maya knows how adults talk to each other. You should be ashamed of yourself! Ah, Ow! <laughs> Slap me! They're tiny hands! <laughs> They're so powerful! <laughs> This woman is Miss Desiree Delight. She's our client's wife. <laughs> Mr. Nick? Yes? Oh. You're a good person. <laughs> hey, Maya, take Pearl and go stand in the corner for like 10 minutes while I talk to Miss Delight. Ow! Fucking stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, it's like being stung by a really angry bee! Well, anyway, all's well and as well, right? I am- I am under attack! <laughs> what cares? Look at the student back and the bee has been cut! You're so right, and it's all thanks to Nicky Boy here. I won! But I believe it was you, Miss Delight, that, that brought us the earn back. Yeah, you did kind of clutch that. Yep. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, please, you're embarrassing me. We won the case. Why does this guy still look so glum? But I am the thief. Actually, was the point now? What is it, honey? I did my best for you, Ronnie. You know that, and I appreciate it, Desi. But the thing is... Come on, give the kids some time. Oh. He's just got a little touch of the blues. You know about feeling blue, right, amigo? Mr. Gatto, what are you doing here? Oh, come on. I just came here to say thanks to my newest buddy. You, Mr. Trite. You should learn my name before you call me buddy. Well, playtime is over. Huh? Early this morning, the body of Kane Bullard was dis- Oh, God damn it! there is a murder! <laughs> Kane Bullard? Where have I heard that name before? That was the person that was alone in the office with Ron Delight. Uh-oh. God oh, no. damn it! I told you it's gonna be that easy! We were right there! Isn't that the name of the CEO of KB Security? We were so close! Wait, buddy? Ah! <laughs> the estimated time of death was 1 a.m. on October 12th. 1 a.m. on October 12th. You don't mean... That's right, amigo. At the same time that the cheap little urn was being stolen, the CEO of KB Security was being murdered. S so then, what are you doing here? Oh, come on. You figured it out already, haven't you, amigo? Or have you already forgotten about that piece of info I helped you out with today? Help me out? What? On October 12th at 1 o'clock in the morning, Ron Delight was in the CEO's office, the scene of the murder. So, Jay, God! Remember what you oh. said in, remember, oh. remember what you said in the beginning of the stream that there was no murder case in this? Yeah! Thing? Yeah, and I was really excited. I was like, wow, I can't believe they're shaking it up and they're not doing a murder case. After getting that blackmail letter, he must have been imbrued with utter rage. 
What are you saying? I'm brewing the bridge? That's not a word! <laughs> Come on, don't tell me you didn't know. Ron Delight was once an employee of KB Security. He was a professional security guard. This guy? This guy, really? An employee of KB Security? Looks like the alibi that saved him from being convicted as a thief is going to be the noose that gets him hanged. Kind of an anti-alibi. No way. He can't be the thief, because he was at the murder scene when the murder occurred. No! That's a lie! It can't be true! Oh, but I, I have a thief, I tell you! From the right, you're going back to prison again. This time the charge is much more serious. This time you'll be tried for murder. What? This can't... This is impossible! I'm looking forward to another exciting showdown, Mr. Trite. You and I aren't through with each other yet. Surely you won't back down from a challenge. You've never been a coward. Mr. Ned, is there something personal between you two? I don't know, he looks kind of familiar, but I don't think it's Edgeworth. <laughs> I've returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. At least let me have some fun while I'm here. This guy... the heck is he? Maybe quiet. Still the most dangerous enemy I've ever faced. I've never sensed power like this before! Well then, time to say goodbye to Mr. Delight. Fuck! What the- Really, fuck! Fuck! Nick, how could this be happening? Right in front of our very eyes, our client has been arrested for murder. And the one who established his presence at the scene was me. Oh boy. Oh no. Arrested for murder on the very same day he's declared innocent of larceny. Heck's gonna happen next. Okay. Should we like take five? Let's take five. Yeah. Oh god damn it. Right in front of our eyes. Well, our client arrested for murder. Sweet. Just great. Great. Awesome. awesome. Fantastic. Cool. Incredible. I'm so glad I did such a great job establishing that that's exactly where he was at that time. Wow, curse my amazing deductive skills. Well. Catch you later, chat. I'm gonna take five. I'll be back. Yeah, breathe. I'm gonna need yeah. to do that. Yeah.
Go back, chat. Back in it. We're back. Uh, <laughs> Are you enjoying the case so far, Jay? Okay. <laughs> I actually really loved that. I really loved that, like... What it makes me think of is the, um... It, it's a it's an excellent way to do it even if it is kind of bullshit but like the while you're busy celebrating how you managed to convince everyone that he wasn't at the scene of the crime the place that you just proved he was actually at is now the scene of a murder that you're probably gonna have to get him out of that is that was pretty good that was pretty good I liked that uh, however I am frustrated that Ron Delight just cannot stop fucking doing crimes. Or at least being in a position to commit crimes. It just doesn't, it just doesn't stop. And he needs to stop. He needs to stop having such a crime doer face. You know? Stop it. Get some help. Get some help. Stop doing it. Okay. We're back in it now. Let's get... Goes back over. Save one more time. And let's get into part three. October 13th, 3.02 p.m. Right in co-law offices. You know, I'm glad we found the urine and all, but poor Mr. Delay got arrested again. Well, supposedly Mr. Delay was in the CEO's office when the murder occurred. No way, Joes! I don't buy it! Okay, it's supposed to be No Way Jose, however, it is a lot funnier that way, and 100% how Maya would do it. Fucking god! But the Thank one- you. <laughs> But the one who proved the Mr. Delight was there, was you, Mr. Dick! Jose! No way, Jose! Fuck! Why would you say that? It's fine, it's fine. But Mr. Nick himself, at least from what I can understand, Look like you did too good of a job this time, Nick. Why must I be such an incredible master of deduction and persuasion, and also so handsome and tall and incredible with people? I I don't know how those last ones are relevant, Nick. Uh, uh, well, how about we get started by looking into the KB security murder? I think I'm gonna take a three for a little while, if it's alright. That's fair. But why? I think like we to take a run back and have some people take a look at it. Oh, that's a great idea! I think I'll go with. No, Mystic Mind, you should stay here! Oh. I want you to dispense the. No, 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 I'll never do that. Ah, great, Pros is finally understanding that she has not contributed much to this game so far. Sacred and given the pearls. Now remember, fight, new kid. Okay. He's gone. Oh, thank God. Finally, no one's going to well, slap me in the face. That's that taken care of. You want to watch a movie or something, Maya? I got the anchor man. Yes. Isn't there a murder, Nick? Yeah, but the anchor man. It's got Will Ferrell. What's it? So, what do we do now? Isn't it obvious? We should get out of there and investigate the murder. Well, first, we need to find out exactly where KB Security is located. Hey, why don't we ask Ms. Delight? She should know. Besides, I want to ask her some stuff about motorcycles. Motorcycles? You're not thinking of getting one, are you? I'm not the same little Maya who used to be happy with her dinky little bike, Nicky boy. Don't you start. <sighs> Speaking of asking around, I've got a few questions of my own for Mr. Delight. Yeah, well, let's make sure to go into the detention center, too. You must be relieved we got the Sacred Urn back, huh? You bet! But something a little different about it. Oh, right. Don't mm, me. Don't question mark me. It's very obvious, isn't it? 
I mean, take a look at this. It clearly says I am when they are in the poster. But the urn we got back says the uh, army, like it always used to. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, I found the same during the trial. Plus, the vase was pink spotted on it. I'm sure they weren't there before. I doesn't know, but one year ago when the urn was broken, the repairer accidentally turned Mystic Amy's name into I Am. And that repairer was one mechanically unskilled Little Pearls. But still, I don't remember ever seeing pink splotches on it. Is it possible that urn is a fake? Or the pink paint that we saw everywhere at the crime scene might have something to do with this? I'm sure Pearls will find out about that soon enough once she gets back to Korean Village. Yeah, I suppose. Now that I think about it, Aya has been back to Korean Village in a long time. Oh, well, I guess people still go to Korean Village to do their training, right? Yep. If you want to become a spirit medium, you need to undergo a severe training. So why haven't you been training lately, Maya? Well... Lately, I've been thinking of heading to the channeling dojo to do just that. A channeling dojo, huh? That's pretty serious. Whatever that is. If you are going to train, you have to be serious. Otherwise, real tragedies can happen. That would hap is what happened last year still bothering you? That murder in her village. It happened because the power of channeling was misused. When a medium uses the Korean technique, she temporarily loses her own will. But when an especially strong spirit is summoned, the spirit medium can get taken over and even forced to commit terrible crimes. What's worse, in those cases, the spirit medium has no memory of what happened. That murder... It wasn't your fault, Maya. You know that, don't you? I suppose not, but... I guess I'm still a bit shaken up, that's all. Sounds like being the master of Crane is gonna be a heavy responsibility. Well, no time to dwell on that. Uh, Let's go see so. Miss Delight. <laughs> yep. Oh, Nikki boy, Maya. Miss Delight. All I wanted to do was help my dear Ronnie. Yeah, but I guess it ended up hurting his case. Don't say that, Nick. She doesn't need your help beating herself up. Hey, Nikki boy, please, please help Ronnie. He's not a killer, I swear. My Ronnie wouldn't hurt to fly. I don't even think he could. Have you seen his arms? They're so small. <laughs> and this little man. Alright, I'll poke around and see what I can find out. Really? Are you serious? Oh, I'm so happy. I knew asking for your help was the right thing to do. I... I don't know what I can do to help anymore. I had no idea Mr. Light had such a vulnerable side. Such a nice character! Listen carefully, Nikki boy. My Ronnie would never, ever kill anyone. It's just not in him. I don't think he would either, Nick. Yeah, but you have to admit he's got a bit of a temper to him. Not that hard to imagine him just snapping. <laughs> you would never say that! Anyway, Mr. Light, he might not be a killer. Why he's still going around saying that he's a thief? I already told you, this is just a fantasy for him. Mr. Light, I hate to say it, but you're the one living in a fantasy world. How dare you say that to me, Pinky Boy? I know everything about my Ronnie. We don't have a secret between us. Ronnie isn't the thieving type. He's so honest that he wouldn't even sneak it out. He's so honest that he, that he wouldn't even steal a glass. A thief. A very idea. Mm, I guess I just don't get it. Hmm? Get what? I can't understand how they can be so different and such a happy couple. That's... Yeah, they sure are different. Come on now, Nikki boy. It's not that mysterious, is it? It was the love at the first sight. Anyway. To him? 
I mean, what? Uh, what are you, who? Really? <laughs> Let, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to that. I hate these kind of people more than anything. Um, I mean, these detectives. No, I'm fine with these detectives. So is that like actually a thing? Is that like a real title? That like he didn't make that up. That's like an actual title he holds, I guess. <laughs> Oh, so then you must mean feet. No, they're all right, too. I just hate things that pretend to be in a detective. There's nothing I hate more than cowardly man. But you you, I... you married one. Yeah, like... Um, by the way, why did you go to Detective Edmund's office anyway? Well... As the trial went on, I started to get more and more anxious. And when I'm anxious, I commit theft. <laughs> I went there and tried to find out more about the real criminal. The real criminal? Yes, obviously, the real mask the mask is not my Ronnie, right? Y yeah. And Detective Admin knew more about Mask the Mask than anyone else. They mentioned him on the great people around town segment on TV. So then you went there to ask him some questions? That's right. I will do whatever it takes to save my man. His, his secretary said the A detective isn't in right now. So I picked her up and used her to break down the door. <laughs> right. When I forced my way past her and he took his hand out. I backhanded that bitch across the room! <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call that office of his a hideout. That bag was doing right there on top of the table. Oh yeah, we saw that back there yesterday too. There's nothing lower than someone who would try to pin a crime on someone else. I don't know, like, worms are pretty far down there. Mm -hmm. They're real small. But... I guess unless they're like on a leaf or something. Yep. On like a really tall plant. <laughs> Does he do this a lot? Yes. Yes. Did you know about KB security? Don't be silly. Of course I do. That's where my running works. So she thinks he still works there, huh? Yet, according to what we heard today. Come home. Don't tell me you don't know. Ron Delight was once an employee of KB Security. He was a professional security guard. Boss. Boss. Ronnie quit. Ron quit. Oh god, it's spreading. Ron. He doesn't work there anymore. It looks like Mr. Delight doesn't know. KB Security is only about 20 minutes away. By motorcycle, that is. Larry told me it takes 30 minutes by car. Well, I have to admit I tend to fly pretty fast on my bike. Yeah, it's 30 minutes if you're a bitch that follows traffic laws. <laughs> to make it to KB Security that fast, are you sure you aren't literally flying? Why don't I give you- Don't I give you a ride sometimes? Or better yet, how about now? I um, go ahead, I'm gonna walk. What? Um, uh, no. I'll pass. Thanks. Well, why don't you just tell us where it is and we'll throw ourselves. What a candy cat you are, Nick. So I've told us the location of KB Security. Okay, let's head over there right away, Nick. Uh, but one first, more thing. Love... Are you sure? Um, so, was it really love the first time when you first met Mr. Delight? Oh, well, maybe not the first time, but Ronnie saved my life. Saved your life? I was at work one day when two robbers suddenly rushed in. Well, I'm not the kind to just curl into a little ball in the corner, so I thought bad. Robbers? Yes, they took me hostage. I was so frightened. They were both carrying this huge knife and I broke down into tears. He said with a smile on her face? Yeah, yeah I would you know too if I were in that situation. Like, 
you don't know that happens like that. Then you remember some tragic um, episode of your life and you say with a smile, everyone in the room starts looking at you weird. Yeah. Look in their faces. Are you sure you uh, didn't kill anyone, Mr. Light? Uh, oh, I think I get it. Did Mr. Dell like come running to save you? Yes, exactly! I remember he looked so handsome in this guy uniform of his. He went right up to those two knife welding robbers and screamed in their faces. Please! He screamed. I could see the robber's face turn pale. The high pitched shriek of his does have a surprisingly strong effect on people. <laughs> but that robber on the right! <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> he's terrified! <laughs> oh god. Like yourself, he came to save me, a total stranger, all by himself. He was so scared that he was crying and shaking, but he still risked his life for me. Wow, that's a great story. Yes, he may not look it, but in tough situations there's no one better. That's why I fell in love with him like I did. So romantic. I, I'd fall in love too, I guess. My story is a little less, uh, a little less life or death. See, uh, back in grade school, <laughs> I was accused of stealing money. <laughs> Nick, I told you do the same for me if I get taken hostage. Nick? Uh huh. You would save me, right? Uh, that depends. Is anyone else in danger? <laughs> You little laugh. Maya, that possibility always seems to loom in the not so distant future. Actually, you were taken hostage that one time, Maya. Actually, uh, yeah. Yeah, so you know the answer to that question. So, purely in this hypothetical as a bit? Probably. But should it actually happen? Yes. Don't. I will, in fact, throw hands with a serial killer. It is only because this game is a visual novel that I didn't get the chance to. October 13th, KB Security CEO's office. Maya, do not press that button. Don't press it. Maya. Maya. Maya, don't press it. Maya. Get away from the button. Maya! Press? I guess this is where it all went down, huh? The walls in here look so thick. Just like you would expect in CEO office. The walls in here look- I, uh, nope, not making that joke, actually. Say it, say it. The walls in here look thick. Just like Edgeworth. What does that got to do with anything? Hey, it's you guys! Speaking of thick, and not in the good way, Detective Gumshoe. But today was a real train wreck for you guys, huh? Sure was, pal. The prosecutor made real fools out of us. Yeah, I feel for you. Wow, that's not like you at all. I thought you'd be more like... That was great, you guys got what you deserve for the whole oh, oh, oh. Or something like that effect. Do I really sound like that to you, pal? Oh, sure you do. It's a gaucho fist. Oh, uh, well, anyway. The point is, I can tell when someone puts their heart into their jobs. And I can sympathize when things don't go your way. Sometimes I feel like wrong is the only way things go for us detectives. Wow, I had no idea Detective Gamashu was such a nice guy. I've been Maya. just trying to do my job for three fucking games! Maya, it's been three years! Now should... this little love fest is over, maybe we can start investigating? But first, let's talk to Gamashu. No, move. I must inspect Please. the office. <laughs> I don't want to talk to Gamashu! Okay, we'll talk to, we'll talk to Gamashu. Thank you. Detective Gumshoe, tell us what you know about the murder. Uh, okay. Thing is, I'm really not supposed to. Hey, come on. What about the put our heart in our work? Also, that's never stopped you before. <laughs> Things are really working against us right now and we need help. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Just don't start crying on me, okay, pal? Okay, I won't cry on you, pal. Victim's name is Kane Bullet. Holy shit, that portrait is terrible. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm glad they got murdered. I mean, 
from a meta perspective. <laughs> he was the CEO of KB Security and a pretty big fellow in his own right. His corpse was discovered at 9 o'clock this morning. The estimated time of death was 1 in the morning on October 12th. Cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head. Probably an object in this room. It happened at exactly the same time that Master Mask was stealing the urn, huh? Autopsy Ray fucking port. <laughs> so what did it take almost an entire day to discover the body? Yeah, good question. There's a good explanation for that one. Bullet's body was stashed away inside that safe. Safe? Well, it is pretty big. Nobody had heard from him. When they opened the safe this morning, Eddie came. Oh, so the body fell out. The white string must be from the shape where he fell out. I think we still need some more information about Mr. Billiard. Maybe you could start by getting the man's name right. <laughs> so, um, what happened to Master Demark? He's at the detention center screaming like a madman. Investigate me again, he keeps yelling. Uh, no, no, I didn't mean him. He's not the real thief anyway, right? Oh, you mean that detective yeah. entity? <laughs> oh, that was great! That guy got what he deserved! <laughs> now that the detective finds no in love. Think about it. Anthony was always around when a calling card showed up. But he always mysteriously disappeared when the heist took place. I was hiding at the crime scene. <laughs> yeah, right. It's the lamest thing I've ever heard. That's how I, uh, that's how you just knew he was the thief. It would explain how he was able to retrieve the stolen items he keeps bragging about. Yeah, he just did that to make himself look like a great detective, that's all. But there's this one thing I can't figure out about his first heist. First heist? Yeah, the Tear of a Man in case. It was a witness on that one. A witness? Yeah, I saved the newspaper clipping. Since the thief is already under arrest, you guys can keep it. Hey, this guard here. Oh, Maya. No, no, no. Hey, this guard here. Haven't I seen him somewhere before? Don't fucking oh. tell me it's Ronnie. Don't. He's pretty small, so it's kind of hard to see, but now that she mentions it... Newspaper clipping added to the court record. Don't tell me it's... Please. Okay. Statistic. It's a 50-50. Either it's Ron or it's Larry. But... Prosecutor got oh, the prosecutor! I really don't like that guy. The way he used our own evidence to do that to Mr. Delight. Yeah, well, I think he did it that way just because he knew it hurt more. That's what my gut tells me anyway. So who is that Java addicted mass maniac anyway? Prosecutor Gatto? He's quite the enigma, huh? Thing is, pal, I never even heard of the guy before. He just showed up one day at the prosecutor's office. Came out of nowhere. Right, he said this was his first case as a prosecutor. And it's true, according to the records anyway. But, no way he's an amateur. He's an ice man in court, a maverick that gives me goosebumps. It's really fucking cool. Goosebumps? Cool? Yeah, normally it's hard for me to get cold because I have so much body fat, but... It does, it's mm. strange, I'm like a bear. You're like, you're like so fake. The animal, not the euphemism. Not a euphemism, the type of person. I'm not hairy okay. enough for that. Yeah, I knew something was off about him, so I asked around. Nobody would talk to me. They all just turned the other way. Oh, Detective Dasho, I had no idea you were so unpopular. Eh, no, that's not what I meant. The Gato guy asks like he knows me and has a grudge against me. I get the feeling he's hiding some kind of dark secret. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm. I am Maya's blood father. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? What's up? Uh... Hey Gumshoe, did you know? <laughs> hey Gumshoe! <laughs> well, let's look around. Oh, you're not going to present your attorney's back this time? It, 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 uh, let's look at the room. This room? You think it fell out and out of the safe and it was open? I don't think so. 
so you mean... Yeah, I think this string shows where and how the corpse was lying. You... you mean... The victim... He was... Crushed by the stink door? Can't be serious, can she? Ugh, what a way to go. You... Well, Gumshu, actually, were you aware of the fact that I... Here, take a look at my attorney's badge. Is this showing that cheap little thing off? Well, at least he's smiling. I thought you were going to take out the sword. Yeah. Ew. Think about it. A dead guy was lying in here all night. Why a stop? Yeah. Oh, by the way, don't bother asking about fingerprints. There were none. Well, somebody opened this safe on the night of the crime, right? Yeah, and so? Well, if Mr. Bullard's body was hidden in here, must mean that it was opened by either the killer or the victim, right? Um, yeah, I guess so. Oh, 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 oh. I got some bad news for you, pal. Are you ready? Uh, okay, shoot. Opening this baby's no piece of cake. There are only a few people who know how to open this safe, pal. Yeah, and? Everyone who knows how to open this case ha safe had airtight alibis. I checked. Everyone except one, that is. I'm almost afraid to ask. From the security chief, Ron Delight. What? Ron Delight? He was the security chief? Ron? So he knew how to open the safe, huh? Yeah. Sorry for raining on your parade there, pal. Oh, great. Just great. Fantastic. This must be the CEO's desk. It's a lot simpler than I would have thought. Hey, that looks like a super soft chair. Let me try it out. Just for a second. Ooh, nice. You feel just like the CEO. Hey, you! Whip me up and cup of some really expensive important tea and some cones. Move it! Ah, this is the life. Oh, um, the victim sat in that chair just before he was brutally killed, you know. Maya, please get out of the murder chair. Please. Uh, button. Ooh, there's the body here. Let's see. Don't tell me she's actually gonna push it. She pushed it. Maya! <laughs> hey, cut it out! Don't press that! <laughs> What is that button anyway? Sorry, I can't hear you over the blaring fucking alarm! It's an emergency buzzer! It says right there on the panel! Oops, you're right. It's raining back here. Maya, please, for the love of God! Jesus! Can't you read? Your defense attorneys are gonna be a heart attack! Oh god, this job's gonna kill me, and not in a cool way. Have I told you to read the instructions first? You're going back to Karain Village. <laughs> this alarm's connected to the basement guard room. It's used to summon security up here. Really? And it's possible on the night of the crime. <gasps> so when the CEO was attacked, do you think that maybe he pressed the buzzer? Yeah, I thought about that, so I asked around down here. But they said that the buzzer never went off that night. Also, we couldn't find any fingerprints on the buzzer. Mr. Bullard, the victim, wasn't wearing any gloves, by the way. Just so you know. Hmm. Maybe better go and talk to that guard about this emergency buzzer. And now we have Maya's fingerprints left on this buzzer. Yeah, so, so she could be accused of a future murder. Sweet. Wow, look at that huge frame photo. All mountains rising majestically against a dark and cloudy sky. There's a title written on the bottom of the photo. The greatest sunrise of my life. Isn't it? This was his best sunrise? Either this guy didn't get out enough, or he had really rotten luck with the weather. Maybe if he hadn't lived a little longer, he will have seen some better days. If only he hadn't been murdered. L. L. Skill issue. <laughs> this looks like some kind of bookshelf rolling cabinet hybrid. I can't get in between these two shelves! Don't strain yourself trying. Looks like the shelves are controlled by a special panel. So I guess it's one shelf at the time, huh? It looks like they're filled with a bunch of files. Yeah, files filled with data about security jobs they were hired to handle. 
It'd be a good night's reading if you got the insomnia. I was hoping for something a little bit more exciting, like Lufos or something. Yeah, if I'm gonna do some night reading, I gotta read those law books. Yep. I got this big, thick binder here. Hmm, thick? You say thick, Nick? Mm. Thick, Nick. And suddenly thick I'm thinking Nick. about Edgeworth again. <laughs> thick, Nick. Do you think I will lift into thick, Nick? Uh, oh, oh, by all means, go ahead, Maya. Reading a file is exactly back-breaking work. It's a little hard on the eyes. Ah! What did you find out, Nick? My back hurts! <laughs> this file. It's like you free up. It's not about any sort of security operations or anything. This huge file is all about mask to mask. It's filled with info on it. What? What kind of info? It's filled with incredibly detailed information about his methods and the crime scenes. Um, hey Nick, look at the last page. It's a list. Let's see. Tier of a man in a hundred thousand dollars. This looks like a list of all the treasures that Mask to Mask stole. So then, one hundred thousand dollars the value of the stolen item? I don't know. That number sounds kind of low to me. I think I'd better secretly make a copy of this list. Mm. Which is just a thing I can do. <laughs> Let's talk to Gumshoe. Yep. Uh... Let's present the list we found. Yeah. Um, so about this. Huh? What's that? Hey, wait a minute, Maya! Come on! Copy that data without permission. Don't show it to him! You might get mad at us. So, what are you two whispering about? Uh, oh, oh, it's not, it's just my billfold. It's a pretty thick billfold you got there, pal. Oh, I really want you to show it to me. <laughs> oh, poor <laughs> Gumshoe. Literally. <laughs> about this blackmail letter? Yeah, I've been thinking a lot about it too, pal. Why would Kane Bullet have been blackmailing Rod Delight anyway? Well, Mr. Delight used to work at KB Security, right? What was it that made him quit? Nick, that's it! Maybe that's the same reason he's being blackmailed! Well, I'm in the middle of investigating that right now. Oh, alright. Mm. Uh. Anything else you can tell us about Mr. Bullard? Yep. Detective Gumshoe, tell us more about Mr. Shane Bullard. Bullard. Bluebird. It's but. Kane Bullard, not Shane Bluebird, pal. Oh yeah, the victim in this case just doesn't make much impression on me. Yeah, he works better as a corpse for the purposes of this case's writing. Yeah. Well, you were the victim until Mr. Bullet was found dead. Yeah, and his body wasn't discovered until this morning. Anyway, we don't have enough information yet. Can you help us out? Aubrey, I'm actually a little confused myself. For some reason, I'm just blabbing like an idiot right now. Okay, Nick, now's our chance to get more info about the victim, so hurry up and ask. Okay. Can you tell us some more about Mr. Buller? He was a CEO of KB Security, right? What kind of company is it anyway? A security company! No shit! Well, the company basically sends security teams out to buildings to guard them. Mr. Bullet must have had the chance to learn a lot of secrets doing this kind of work. Oh? Oh? Tell me more. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how to put this, but the guy was kind of a money grubber. Really? Me too! I just love money, I can't even get enough! Neither. I don't think either of us can, pal. Yeah. Please stop leaning in towards me like that, you aren't getting to my wallet. <laughs> anyway, it looks like he did some pretty shifty stuff to earn his millions. Oh, so that's my problem, I need to be shifter. Aya, no. Maya, yes. We go already. <laughs> Apparently, he was involved in selling trade secrets between rival companies. Ooh, that's pretty dirty and un... Underhanded. Thank you. 
Nick, do we have any company secrets? Do we, Nick? Yeah. Oh, KB Security just head security operations against Mask the Mask. What? Really? Yeah, and after screwing up so many times, the company's reputation really took a nosedive. But it really was Bullard who sent her on the blackmail letter, huh? Hmm. Well, okay. I will leave you to your examinings. And move to security room. Yeah. Let's see who we should... I know oh, that I know jacket. I know that jacket. Let's see. Potato chips? Hmm. Greasy hair? Deodorant, and not the expensive kind, and a general sense of patheticness and a lack of self-worth. Larry. Why are you sniffing this place like a security dog? Oh, this is really something else. What is that, Pokemon <laughs> Red on the monitors over there? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Look, on the left, those monitors, that's just a Pokemon game. Jeez, <laughs> Larry. For a security guard office, it sure doesn't feel very secure. In fact, the whole place sort of has an air of insecurity. <laughs> KB security guard. Uh-oh, I just remembered. Larry might be... Hey, Nick! What's up? Ugh, so he is here. Yo! How's it hanging, dude? And you got Maya with you, too. My favorite niece. Larry? Here I was, working my fingers to the bone. That's all good. No, that's not what we're here for. We're investigating the Bullard murder case. Huh? Oh, yeah, my boss was killed. That's right. You're a lawyer, aren't you? He's so hopelessly clueless. Oh, <laughs> well, that's about the murder case. Boy, have I got some good info for you. Really? What is it? Hmm. Well, I don't mind sharing with my favorite niece. But Nick here's a different story. You are, like, only top no. three best friends. You have more than three <laughs> friends? Ha! <laughs> no! That's the impressive part. Larry, I thought you two were all school buddies. And that was then, and this is now. Jesus, Larry, you're a dick. So, what's this good info you were talking about, Larry? Hey, I'm a guard, a pro! I can't just give away information for free. What's a bribe? I thought professionals were more, I don't know, honest. Can you talk to him, Maya? Hey, tell us already. What's the good info? Hey, I like that. Okay, you really want to know? Yes, yes, tell me. Okay, the thing is, Ron July was an employee here. And naturally, since I'm a pro, I looked into his background. You follow me? Yes, you were a pro. I follow you. Go on. Well, one year ago, Ron July was fired. There was no warning at all. It just happened, all of a sudden. I know this is a small company, but I think that was pretty awful. I guess he must have done something bad to have gotten fired for that. Like maybe skipping out of work to go pick up hot chicks or something. No, that's just you. That's just and I didn't get fired for it. So, what is it like to be a part-time security guard? <laughs> Let me tell you, it's tough. Well, you know me, I get by alright, I guess. First, I have to keep my eye on those monitors all of our time. Monitors? Yeah, there are security cameras set in each room around this building. It's really hard. Sometimes I feel like my eyes are gonna fall out. Oh. If I see something suspicious, I have to contact one of the teams. What teams? Security teams for this company. They're supposedly the best in the business. But I'm no amateur either. But if it's something small, I don't bother calling them. Larry, that's highly incompetent. Larry! So in other words, you basically watch TV screens all day long. You were in this office when the murder took place, weren't you? <laughs> Why do you say that? This is a part-time job for me, and I can't operate the equipment, and I'm dumb. Even if it is part-time, and you are dumb, you're still in charge of security here. Hey, give me a break! Don't try to pin the whole thing on me. That's not fair, Nick. Huh? I do think you can't expect someone like you to take any responsibility. Anyway, the point is, you were here that night, right? 
right? Oh, oh for Larry. fuck's sake, Larry. Ugh. Oh no, I knew something smelled bad, and it was the butts after all. Well, it's like I always say, that was then and this is now. I'm gonna have to break his cyclops after all. No. All right. Well, you want to do this the hard way? Let's do this the hard way. Maya, my pipe. Maya, the crowbar. Maya, Maya my bananas. <laughs> Peel the banana, Maya. Find the truth. Peel the bananas, Maya. Peel the bananas, Maya. <laughs> On the night of the crime, were you working hard like you were supposed to? Huh? Huh? <laughs> of course I was! Why? Well, I'm not a bit. But didn't you sneak out of work just yesterday to go see Miss Delight? Ah! That was... And this is this! Is there any chance that you snuck out of work last night too? Ever! I didn't sneak out! Tell you what, I'll even bet you a dollar! A dollar? Wow, no. That's confidence. What's with that drenched in the rain puppy look on your face? Do you have evidence that I left my position, or are you just pulling my chain? The evidence that Larry was manning a station when the murder happened. You found Rob's yep. wallet. Yep. Exactly what he did. This wallet? You know about this, right? I've never seen it before. Liar! You hand delivered this wallet to Miss Delight just yesterday. <laughs> Give me a break. You can't expect to, rem to remember every little thing that happens. Well, I do expect you to remember something that happened yesterday. What time was it when you found this wallet? I guess it was around 1 in the morning on the first floor of our company building. 1 o'clock in the morning? That's right. In other words, Larry, at the time of the murder, you were away from the security guard office. Ah! <laughs> yeah, but something you didn't think about. What's that? My shift that day didn't start until 10 p.m. The murderer might have snuck in before then. What do you mean by that? The murderer had snuck in before 10 p.m. Then it wasn't my fault. It was the fault of the guy whose shift was before mine. Why do I have the feeling that he still doesn't get the seriousness of this? Listen up, Larry. We both know beyond a shadow of a doubt the killer snuck into the CEO's office after 10 p.m. during your shift. Because of the fucking data. Where is it? Where yes. Is it? Yep. Take that. Larry, when you use this key card, does it leave a record? Yeah, it does. But I can't show the record to just anyone, you know. That key card data was already made public in the trial today. What? I didn't know that. Any kind of request for info like that's supposed to go through me. Boy, does that sound a bit arrogant coming from a part-time guard. Anyway, according to the data, the door to the CEO's office was open with this card. Furthermore, it was most definitely used at 1 p.m. 1 a.m., the time of the murder. No way. Yes, someone used this to get into the CEO's office. That happened at 1 a.m. on the night of the crime, right in the middle of your shift. Oh. Larry, you can't duck your responsibility this time. <laughs> oh, no, don't make me do my job. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I knew it. It's all my fault. It's my fault the boss is killed. It's my fault. Hello, me. There's nothing I can do. I have important issues to deal with too, man. What happened that night anyway? Oh, my daughter happened. Uh, your daughter. Another girl, Larry? Jesus Christ. I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, my daughter called and said I have to talk to you right away. So I went to see her and he was standing right there next to her. Um, who was? Her new boyfriend. It was like some horrible joke. Before I knew what was going on, the guy socked me around the kisser. Probably I'm the one that does the punching. Uh, yeah. So that's why you left. So is that why you left the security guard office? Oh, I'm sorry! It's all my fault! I'm gonna have to make up for it, Nick. What can I do? Look up on the floor crying like a baby. Oh, oh boy. Nick. Nick! Is there anything I can do? Anything! Just name it! I'll do whatever I have to do to make up for it, I swear! 
Larry. Hey, Nick, as long as he's not for you, why don't you show him the evidence we got? Right. Maybe we'll get at least one bit of useful information from him. Uh... <laughs> buzzer! Larry. Is there a record of the use of this buzzer? Larry? Um, buzzer and the CEO office are directly connected to this room, right? That's right! Just like my heart. No, boy. No, no. 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 Not, not reading that. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you could tell us about the buzzer now? Yes, please. Please tell us. The real one. Okay. Well, I guess so. Prepare to be wowed. Uh, can we talk about it? Okay. Yes. Oh, yep. Emergency buzzer. Um. I accidentally pressed the buzzer earlier. Accidentally, yeah. Yeah, I heard it. So that was you, huh? You're a security guard, aren't you? Why didn't you come to the CEO's office? Oh, this is the third floor of the basement. The CEO's office is on the first floor. I thought it'd be a good idea to, uh, adopt a wait and see approach. Plus, there's a police detective here, right? I just didn't think it was necessary. As if he's trying to win an award for the laziest person on the planet. Um, let's get back to talking about the night of the merger, okay? Is it true that the buzzer didn't go off that night? There must be a record, right? You must have had a look at it, right? Of course right? I did! And I couldn't possibly have made a mistake either. Eric, you are a mistake. <laughs> Do you think you could take just one more look for me, pretty please? Uh, okay. I just can't say no to you, Maya. Even me can't. What do you think, Nick? He's probably right. I don't think even Larry could make a mistake like that. <laughs> and don't yet he me. never Maybe. fails to prove me wrong. What is it? What's wrong? I made a mistake! <laughs> of course you fucking did. Uh, but no! Oh. <laughs> it can't be! It's impossible! Hey, enough already. What about the records? At night. It went off just once, in the morning, around 1am. Larry! 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 Maya, my crowbar. You, you gave it to Pearls before she left. Damn it! Maya, the banana. Really? Are you serious? That's terrible! It can't be! Oh, shark. The buzzer went off once at 1.02 a.m. Okay, let's do some examining of our own. I think it was written on the poster in fine print. I got five comment commandments. Wow, it sounds serious. Let's see what it says. One, obey the superior. Second, Respect your superior. Respect that superior. Third, smile at that superior. I'm sensing a pattern. Fourth, salute that superior. Yes, a very. Buy donuts for that superior upon command. Thank Wendy Oldback head superior. Super Wendy. Oh, no Oldback in this case, please. Please. I don't want to interrupt her. I don't want to interrupt her. Let me tell ya. Cross her and you come face to face with a real genuine ray gun. Yeah, sounds scary, alright. Well, fortunately she's on vacation. Oh thank god. That's why I'm most, that's why I'm so relaxed right now. Hey, Larry, that's your jacket, isn't it? That's right. Um, did you know that I ended up on the top of some kind of a lever? Oh my god. Yeah, she's sir. Right. I was told to never ever touch that letter. She scowled and huffed at me. Something terrible will happen if you did. Got it, great heart? So why you hang your jacket on such an important lever? Because it got me curious. The jacket's weight pulls the lever down. That's what they call an accident. Doesn't the suspense just kill you? Don't you want to know what'll happen, huh? <laughs> True. Killing me too. What about you, Nick? I think I need to put a leash on you. <laughs> yeah, but for a different reason. Now I'm curious. I wanna, I wanna push the lever. Don't, don't pull it. Don't pull the lever. But I, I wanna. That's my partner's seat. Your partner? 
Well, that's what I call her. She's my superior, actually. Kind of a weird old lady. Um, there's a tea spilled all over the machine, no? Oh, don't worry about it. Just the other day, I spilled some chocolate milk on mine. It still works fine, more or less. They really know how to build them, I guess. Jeez, these guards, they're... Hmm. Wow, take a look at these things here. Hey, hey, Larry, what are they? Hmm. Did you just say hmm? Hey, man, it's not like I have to know what they are to do my job. You are... I, I always thought they were just some kind of decoration or something. Oh boy. How did this guy ever get a job here anyway? Nepotism. Nepotism? What? Yeah, the boss used to be my brother. Used to be? Well, he's dead now. <laughs> That's my workstation. Pretty cool, huh? I keep a steady eye on the monitors and use that mic for communicating. Look at all this equipment. It must be too hard to operate. I'll dig it. I think there's an instruction manual somewhere in this room. Somewhere? Instruction manual? What are you gonna do in an emergency? Well, I guess I'd start by calmly looking for the instruction manual. During that time, my partner, the old lady, would calmly look for her reading glasses. That's what a security professional's call teamwork. And my and Pearls could run this place better. And I don't think Pearls think knows how to read. That is... Supposed to mean? I just got an achievement that's called Smells Like Old Bag. Ew. Ew. The screens there show what's going on all over the building. Everywhere. And it's my job to keep a steady eye on them. All of them. Wouldn't sound so smug if I were you. Can you watch regular TV on this too? Why oh, yeah. If anyone would sit here and watch TV instead of working, it's Larry. Hey, Maya, I'm a pro, okay? Besides, you can't get regular TV on it. And how do you know that, Larry? Because that was my first bit of investigation, if you know what I mean. I know what you're thinking! It was a professional investigation, alright? Also, you know... I'm, I, I, uh... Uh, yeah? I actually, I don't know any modern shows to make a joke about. Oh my god. I, I don't watch a lot of TV anymore. No, you do? I don't. I, a, a lot of it is just YouTube. Hey, Gumshoe. Yeah. Hey, uh, let's go to... Uh, basement! There was a beast waking up in you, or what, what was that sound? It was my deduction sound. <laughs> The treasure of Korean exhibit is all moving now. Maya. I'm so sorry. Just so sad. It's not a big chance for everyone to learn about the spirit channel. Yeah, it can cheer her up somehow. Well, now that we got the secret urn back, maybe they can reopen it. Really? Sure. No, Phoenix. No. That would probably attract a lot of attention. Wow. Whoa, whoa! They could clean up and be filthy rich. Uh, of course. <laughs> so, what happened to the education of the masses? Oh, <laughs> that was surprisingly easy. They shook one brain cell, I swear to God. And it's in the shape of a dollar sign. Yep. Uh, oh, hey, Adrian. Oh, it's you, Mr. Wright. Miss Andrews, you're... Still having a panic attack, I can see. What's she still yeah. hanging down around here for? Um, so, uh, how's it going? What about the second urn? Good news. We have the urn. Bad news. A young man is being tried for murder. Good news. They're not the thief. Bad news. They are a murderer. Good news. Yeah. The detective you let in was actually masked to mask. Um. And anything else, Maya? I, th I think you should stop there. You, I think you're giving her even more panic attacks. Okay. The urn? Oh, that. It's been taken care of already. What do you mean, oh, that? I, look, there's been a lot on my mind today, Maya. Uh-huh. Taken care of? Do you mean it's been found? Yeah. Yeah. 
He was running during the trial today. Wow, really? You really are the greatest, Mr. Raid. Oh, at least someone in this fucking game actually recognizes how important I am. Aya. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Mr. Raid had nothing to do with it. Oh. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> It was Ron Delight's wife that found it, Maya. Jesus. <laughs> what were you I don't know what you did. <laughs> oh boy. Wow, that one really tickled you, huh? That was, that was pretty good. <laughs> I guess let's talk to Adrian. Oh my god. I just heard all about it on the news. So the detective was actually the people alone. It looks like it looks that way right now. It's my fault. I'm the one who ended up hiring the mask on God, the treasures. Don't blame yourself. You were just doing your job. Hey Nick, if she wants to apologize, you should let her. Maya, she's uh, I'm trying okay. to ease her guilty conscience, Maya! <laughs> so where was it that you heard Detective Edme again? About 20 days ago. And, was, uh -huh. and when was it that Master Mask's calling card arrived? Oh, that was about 10 days ago. So he sent a calling guard to the very place he was hired to guard. A calling, a calling guard, perhaps. A calling guard, perhaps. I guess that's it then. Detective Edme must have really wanted the second run after all. But I guess what so. for? What's so special about the garden other than containing someone's soul? What? So what? The mask was murdered someone as well? Well, that's how things look right now. Yes, but I thought that was... I thought that he was there still in the earth at the time. Well, we're talking about our criminal mastermind, so anything is possible. Nick, let's get down to business already. On the night of the sea... On the night of the pub, did you notice anything suspicious about Detective Edme? You mean out of the ordinary? I mean, <laughs> fucking look at him. <laughs> no, I couldn't have. <laughs> After all, he was hidden the entire time. I never even caught a glimpse on him. Which, that in and of itself is pretty suspicious. He claims that's the way he always operates. Could you not notice him? I mean, his nose is so big. Yeah. That's just what he says, so he can have an alibi while he commits the theft himself. Yeah, he was caught in the crime scene photo dressed up as mask to mask pretty well. Mm. So, I'm so glad that you got your second run back. Yes, but there's still something that bothers me about him. What is it? I'm not exactly sure, but somehow the arm that came back seems different. Uh, really? You wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Miss Andrews? Oh no, she's gonna have another <laughs> beef. Oh, no, for fuck's it. sake! Adrian, please! Adrian, Stop. come on! Sidewalks. What do you think this means, Nick? It means the person that holds the secret to the mystery of the sacred urn is our very own Miss Andrews. Maybe we shouldn't say that to her face, Phoenix. Miss, Mr. Ray, why are you staring at me like that? We have what we need, though. Yep. So let's continue our investigation, I guess. You check out this ladder. A ladder. That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Eh? Right. Sorry. I know I feel like we've had this exact conversation before somewhere. I don't think there's much else to know that we haven't already seen. Yeah, but maybe there's... Wait, was that A sign always that way? It says Organi. 
No, it doesn't make it says organized. You just can't see the last two letters. Yeah, well, I guess no one else could read it either because this place is a mess. Yeah, so you should feel very home, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, so... one, that's deeply hurtful, and two, we already had that conversation. So let's yeah. go somewhere else. Nothing more interesting here. How are you doing, Charlie? Kelly. A quite decorative plant. If she was alive, Mia really cared. Mia really loved it. Even went so far as to make it our mascot. No matter how busy I get, I never forget to water this little fella. Little fella. Let's go to the detention center. Yep. Ah! We missed right! Oh, you old fuck. It's a delight. Did they finish their in interrogation? Yes, <laughs> please don't leave me alone anymore! Mr. Delight, you lied to us before, didn't you? Well, uh, you see... On the same night the sacred urn was stolen from the Lordly Taylor department store, a blackmail letter you got summoned you to KV security to hand over some money. And then, after the CEO, Kane Bullard, was murdered. But there's only one Ron Delight. Am I right? So the only question is, where were you that night? This time I want to hear the whole truth. Your life depends on it. Okay. You better. Mr. Delight, do you still insist that you are mask to mask? You know what I've been saying since yesterday? That was quick response. Tell me about it. To be honest, it's starting to get irritating. But listen, Mr. Delight. At the trial today, we learned the true identity of the thief, didn't we? <laughs> Take a good look, everyone! Unable to find a rival worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself! Here I am, the tragic clown! That was loud. <laughs> I wasn't the one who stole that arm. I, I like I like doing bad guy voices. <laughs> You're doing a good job. Like him, Von Karma, and uh, Matt on guard. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, that, that was great. Of course not. After all, you were in TV security at the time, murdering someone. <laughs> <laughs> so then the person dressed up as Master Mask in this photo. It's gotta be Detective Batman. <laughs> So that night, you didn't go to Lordly Taylor. You went to KB Security, right? Yes, I went to KB Security at the time the blackmail note said I should. Alright, what happened next? Well, I used to work there, so I knew where the CEO's office was. I knocked, but there was no answer. So then I used this key card to unlock the door. Probably when he dropped his wallet. I went into the CEO's office. Someone was in there. A month? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. That's when they suddenly bashed me over the head! Bam! Was it Kane Walker that hit you? I don't know. The person ran away while I was still stunned. I came to my senses, the sign I saw left me speechless. Ew! That body, the CEO, was right there in front of me. I thought I'd die myself. Anyway, I thought I should do something with the body. Why? <laughs> So that's why you put it in the safe? Yes, that's right. So, uh, what? I used to be the chief of one of the security teams, so I knew how to open it. Okay, and what did you do after that? Went home and cried to my wife for four hours. <laughs> well, I got out of there for starters. I was the one who set up the security cameras in that building, so I knew how to avoid being spotted by them. Nick, I think so we're So it fucked. wasn't just Larry being incompetent. Oh no, your friend's incompetence was definitely part of it. All of a sudden, Mr. Delight kind of sounds like the murderer to me. Don't say that. <laughs> it's true. Mr. Delight, is it true that one year ago you were forced to quit your security? Hold on, we never looked at the newspaper clipping that Gumshoe gave us. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah we did. So that must have been Ronnie. 
Because Larry There's wasn't something... working with KB security by this point. There's something I don't get. So, Ron was fired from security guard one year ago. Why does his pass still working? Like, what? isn't it supposed to be... Yeah. Um, like, Wouldn't his card have been something? deactivated if he was fired? Yeah. Huh. Dude. Or That's... maybe it wasn't his. Maybe it wasn't his pass, but that doesn't sound very logical to me. Still, that's an interest. We should probably keep that in mind, though. Yeah. Ah. How did you? <laughs> Thank you. you. Please don't tell Tessie, please. I suddenly feel like telling your wife everything. Don't worry, we haven't told anyone yet. Yeah. Goodness. Uh, no, I. I suppose I'll have to tell her sometime. Find out eventually. Why have you been hiding it from her anyway? Because it would despise me if she, if she ever found out I was living a life of crime. A criminal, a thief. She'd never forgive me. My marriage would be over. And I am literally never going to do that well again. This is one in a fucking million. Have you seen her? I mean, holy shit. I won, bro. I won the lottery. I'm not fumbling that. <laughs> Why did you become a thief in the first place? Because Desi spends money like it's water. There's no job in the world that could bring in enough money. Except being a thief. At least, that's what I thought anyway. So he became Master Mask for Desiree, huh? She. They work for each other. Yeah, they're both fucking crazy. Yeah. Hey! This is an article about my debut heist! So it is you. Oh, well, that was a tough one. Before I knew it, they were hot on my trail. But Mask, the Mask, he must have gotten away, right? It says in the article that he disappeared. That's right. I got a sudden burst of inspiration. I hid my Mask to Mask costume in a nearby plastic bucket. Then I quickly changed into my security guard uniform. Pretty clever, huh? Wow, awesome. Hey, hold the phone. The guard in the photo is it you? <laughs> That's right. Nice trick if I do say so myself. Nice and easy to figure out. Even pearls can see through that in a heartbeat. As you might expect, Detective Atme found the disguise. He truly deserves the title of Ace Detective. Detective Atme found the Master Mask disguise? Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, and I heard that he brought it home with him. So that's it. That's when Abby got his hands on this. Thanks to that, I got the chance to remake my costume. It must have been really time consuming, huh? Yeah, it took quite a while to complete. Anyway, a few days after that, I received the first of the blackmail letters. Blackmail letters? You got them starting when? Tell me more! Now! Tell me! Please stop pounding on the glass! <laughs> You're frightening me. I'm like a fish. <laughs> like the like starts crying and calling for Daisy. Dude, please don't please don't tap on the glass. This blackmail letter is this uh, the first one you got? No, of course not. I think this is the first one that ever called me out to a specific location. So, did you start receiving blackmail letters after this incident? Yes, just a few days after the terrors of the Madden heist. The first letter said, I know you did it. So someone found out about your true identity, just like that? Eh, not easy being a master thief, you know. I've got proof that it was you, so give up, it went on to say. So in the end, I had to give up all the treasure I would- I to give up the treasure I went through all the trouble to steal. Not right. Hey, hang on a second. What do you mean you had to give it up? Oh, don't worry. After I put the jewel in the safe deposit box the letter specified, someone sent me $10,000. No one said anything about me being worried, you know. After that, I started getting the plans in the mail. Plans? What are these plans you're talking about? They were instructions on how to steal a crown or a painting or some other rare treasure. They showed, a, they showed security blind spots, escape routes, and even suggested training methods. So you mean that the one who planned the haste wasn't you? 
No, it wasn't. I only planned the very first one. After that, I received plans from some very kind person. Incredibly detailed plans. It sounds like the dumb lad is thankful to the person that was blackmailing him. Uh. The wrong delight was masked to mask after all. Someone else is behind the thefts. Someone who planned them all out in detail. All I had to do was deposit the treasures I stole into the safe deposit box. Then I just waited for the cash to come in the mail. Did you try not to look so gleeful about it? So you went after the second one because of one of those plants, too? No, oh, see, truth is, I've never seen the urn. All I did was follow the instructions and steal what I was told to steal. Mr. Delight, is everything you've just told me the truth? Yes, but please don't tell Desi, okay? I'm so afraid of his wife. From Damask's second heist on, he was stealing as directed by blackmail letters. Ron, before we go, there's one more thing I want to ask you. Yes, but please don't hurt me. <laughs> you're like the you're like this glass between us. This glass cannot stop me if I wanted to hurt you, but trust me, I don't. Mr. Kane Bullard, swear that it wasn't you who killed him. Yes, of course. I could never. I'm not lying. All I did was hide his body in the safe. But then I was afraid that they'd discover what I did, so I turned myself in yesterday. Um, why? Well, if the judge had ruled that I was guilty of robbery, then I'd have an alibi, right? Um, uh, yes, so you're really clever, Mr. Delight. Yeah, and then some defense attorney went and fucked all that up for me. I guess I have no choice but to take Mr. Delight at his word. Oh, God. Is, is it Pearl? Pearl? Who else? Mr. It's Maya! Yeah. Hey! Really? Why are you here? I'm back. You... What? Hey, Pearls. So, what have you been up to this whole time? Mr. Kernor, Mr. Nick, I took it back to Kareem Village to have it examined. And? And? What did you find out? Well, there's no need to worry. They say it's the real one. Phew. That's a relief. I was really flattered. But there's one small problem. Problem? Um, the, these cute little pink spotches. They said it's the paint, but that they were, uh, and they, they, they were put on the urn recently. Why are we talking about the pink splotches again? What's the big... Phoenix! <laughs> My guy, fucking... Okay, you know what, we're gonna take, we're gonna go back to the basement warehouse and I'm going to make you look at why it matters. What's the big deal? We've gotta find out how they got there. That's the big deal. Yes, Mr. Nick, we've gotta find out how they got there. Yeah, Mr. Nick, we gotta find out why they got there. You stay out of this. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll go find out how they got there. Okay, okay. Please don't forget about me. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Quiet, you. Anyway, bye, Ron. Oh, I miss my wife. Mission mm. Hall. Basement oh, Warehouse. Go to Edmi oh. What? I thought maybe we should go to Edmi's office, but okay. We probably should go to Edmi's office, but I think Pearl and Maya are pretty insistent on figuring out what happened to the thing. Yep. After all, it's the big deal. Oh, Pearl, how nice to see you. Hello there. I haven't seen you around lately. What have you been doing? Hitting people with a crowbar. Uh, well, actually, I was having this urn examined. Have you just been carrying it around this whole time? Yeah. Oh, I see. Like a small child like, carrying a giant urn that yeah. is twice her size. Maybe if we take another good look at this urn. <laughs> and figure out the mystery of what actually happens here. <gasps> Nick, let's look around one more time. Yep. So, Adrian. So, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what'd I do? Oh, there we go. You just 
interesting. Oh, it's okay so, now. Adrian. Are you, you aware <laughs> I'm... of this badge? I have a great deal of things to that badge. And to a lesser degree, the person it belongs to. Not really. It's the only reason that I'm still here today. Oh, come on now. That's not true. I think what Nick means to say is that it wasn't thanks to me. It wasn't thanks to the badge, it was thanks to me. Tell the truth, Nick. I know that's what you were thinking. <laughs> no way, Maya. <laughs> Although a little, a little credit would have been appreciated. Yeah. I'm gonna do it for Adrian. Thanks to Mr. Nick. This is the this is the camera and the computer that Detective Edme set up, huh? That's what he said. And yet, he still let it take a picture of him. I guess he's not as smart as he, as he pretended to be. Or it was planned from the very start. The camera belonged to Lobby Taylor, so he knew he couldn't tamper with it. But why would Adme, I mean, Mask to Mask, allow that to happen? Mm. Look at the box. Is it no. This box. There's something about it that's bothering me. The pink. The pink. The pink color. It has the, the, the secret urn has the stone on it. It's the box that the secret urn was in. There's some pink paint on it, too. And it is the same color as the stuff in the urn. I think I know how the paint got on it now. Alright, let's investigate again, Dick. Earn box added to the court record. Oh, that's the sign. Examine the paint. Looks to me like it's been dry for several days. There's something suspicious about this paint. Paint mark. At a perfect angle. Yep. The bottom left part of this is shaped oddly. And it's stuck in page. It's stuck in page. God. Mr. Nick, could it be that this such shape is the, a box? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. Uh, uh, that's the box the second room was in. If you look here, there's a little bit of paint on the box as well. Wow, you're right! Look, it matches! Mr. It's all turning out exactly as I thought it would. Why do you sound like a professional auto I think it's all starting to become clear. We're that much closer to solving the mystery of what happens to the urn. Um, Miss maybe. Andrews. Look at this thing. Sacred urn. Miss Andrews, do you know anything about the sacred urn? Do we know anything? I'm in charge of an entire trash department. The urn that was submitted before the court today. It's obviously not the same urn as before. Well, that's, uh, that's, um, uh, true. Maybe it isn't the same. It could be... It could be a fake. A fake? We're the one who said it wasn't the same. So that's the most obvious explanation. Do you have any evidence that the urn was submitted at the trial was genuine? Found in Abby's office covered in pink splotches, but it's the genuine article. And it was verified by the people of Korean Village. Sorry to break it to you, but the urn is the genuine article. Pearls went back to Korean Village and had it examined. Is that right? That's nice, but I don't see how... What she discovered was that the urn had been broken. Again. Did you say... again? Yes, it was broken once a year ago. 
And now it looks like the same thing has happened. And quite recently, too. Really? Are you saying that this urn was broken recently? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Why do you think it was broken recently? How do you know? Because... Because it's different on the poster! Yep. This poster. It was made recently, right? The poster? Uh, the poster for the exhibit. And there's a picture of Maya on it. Yep. I just noticed that. At the time when this photo was taken, the urn said I am on it. But now, for some reason, it says Amy. When the urn was fixed, the letters were transposed. I am? What does it mean? I didn't know anything about that. It doesn't mean anything. I wasn't even there when the photo was this poster was taken. That was a mistake. Now, tell me the truth. Wait! Or? Even if the urine was broken, I had nothing to do with it. Huh? Yes, that's it! I must have been one of the people at the photo shoot! They probably dropped it! I'm sure that's what happened! Hmm, but she's not going to give up that last cyclock so easily. Do you have any proof that the urn was broken here at Lonely Taylor? Indeed yeah. I do. Well, Miss Andrews? Um, what is this supposed to mean? There's pink paint all over the urn. <laughs> and there's pink paint all over the floor and walls of this basement warehouse. In other words, this urn was broken here. Can't weasel out of this one, Miss Andrews. What? Uh-oh. Trying to make her escape. But she can get pink everywhere! Well, there's none in my office, that's for sure. Unless... Well, the, uh, unless Maya... Um, what? Maya! Okay, anyway... Paint in the urn and the paint on the floor. There's no proof that it's the same paint. Adrian, come on! Come on, this is getting ridiculous. The proof linking the paint on the urn to the paint on the floor... This box. The urn was stored in this, right? Yes, that's right. Well, there's pink paint on this box as well. Uh, I think you already know where I'm going with this, don't you? Yes, more or less. The paint on the floor has an odd shape imprinted in it, doesn't it? Yes. Mm, you goofy bitch! You've been bested! You put this box under the impression in the paint you can see it fits perfectly. Which means this box was dropped right over there. And that is when the urn was broken. Your name... Your name does your justice, Mr. Wright. Okay, Adrian. I'm so sorry. I was the one, the one who broke the urn. Boy, does this baby look like some sort of evil school teacher. I'm a terrible person. Not only did I break it, but I tried to hide what I did. Okay, you're not the first person to do that. At least you fixed it. No, oh, that's not so hard to understand, apparently. At least you fixed it properly. No, 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 I, I know just how she feels. It happened about two weeks ago. Just after the poster photo was taken, the same day the urn arrived here. I thought I would put it away down here for safekeeping. I was carrying it in the box. Oh boy. Oh boy. Then I tripped on a paint can and lost my glass. The box I was carrying crashed on the ground. Ouch! I heard a terrible noise and I thought my heart was going to stop. Fearing the worst, I... Fearing the worst, I opened the lid of the box and that's when it happened. 
The broken pieces of the urn fell out of the box and let it right in the paint. I... I... I was in shock. And let out a huge scream. Hmm. I can totally see how that could have happened. Yeah, as clumsy as she is, I'm sure Maya understands. Well, I knew it was the most important treasure in all of the Korean village. So I tried as hard as I could to fix it. Fortunately, the shots were pretty big. That's when the and I.M. That's... got... Oh, Maya, sorry. No, 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 it's okay. And that's when the I.M. got changed to Ami. Correct. Correct. I didn't know how it was originally written. But any sane person fixing it would have assumed it says Ami. I mean, yeah, how stupid would you have to be to assume it says anything else? Any sane person? Really? Ooh. Ooh, that was oh, pearls. Oh, baby. She said she wasn't very good at spelling. <laughs> anyway, I put the urn into the storeroom and no one had seen it since then. I mean, what else would it even say? But there's nothing I don't get. When I first came here, I didn't see any paint stains. Well, that's because it was so ugly and embarrassing. I used the golden statue to cover it. Amy Face statue. Aha! Uh huh. The first time that we came down here, it was on the night that the sacred urn was stolen. But, Mr. Nick, it was the opening marks on the wall or floor of the warehouse when we were here. Well, there's a good reason for that. On the day of the crime around noon, the golden statue just happened to arrive from the mountain training hall. And I realized that the statue would be a perfect size for covering up the paint stains. That's why I put it where you first saw it. I see. Now it makes perfect sense. Um. But there's still one thing I find strange. What is it, Pearl? The day after the urn was stolen, we came here again. And that time, the statue had been removed and the paint was clearly visible. Right about that. Well, Miss Andrews? Uh, what? I, uh, I don't know anything about that. I placed it there to cover the paint, so why would I move it again? Mm, a good point. Well then, who was it? Who would have done it and why? I guess the people who were fighting well. Whoever well, took the them sword them. probably moved it too. Yeah. The the theft, on the day before the theft, the statue was definitely closer to the door. Then the next day it was moved. But why? Hmm. Mm. It looks like there's some connection between the sacred arm and the murder case. Why? Why do you think so, Nick? Because that night, the real thief, Ron Delight, was at KB Security. So then why did another Master Mask show up here? A lot of different things are pointing to one undeniable fact. One undeniable fact? I need a drink. The murder trial is starting tomorrow, but... Looks like that thief is gonna be making another appearance. To be continued! Next time. I'm calling the stream here. That's a good idea. I'm very tired. And I imagine this is the end of the case, so this next trial beat is going to be a long one. Yep. So, uh, this has actually been a really fun case. This game has made a much stronger start than Justice for All did. <laughs> so, soon. So, so far I've been enjoying myself, actually, which is surprising. Um... <laughs> Of course, it's nice to have someone with me. So, Witchy, thank you so much for joining me, as always. I'll get some sleep. Better. 
Uh, chat, thank you so much for coming out. Those of you watching the VOD in the future, hello. Glad you could make it now. And next week, Saturday, same time as always, 8 p.m. EST, we will be finishing case two of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations. Uh, presumably, presumably ending the case. I hope so. Um, and yeah. Wednesday, 5 p.m. EST, we will be continuing Saijima's story of Yakuza 4 Remastered Legend Difficulty. And other than that, I can't think of much else that needs to be said. Anything else to add, Witchy? Mm -mm. Totally right. nothing. Well, thank you all for joining me. And until next time, whether that be for Yakuza or Phoenix Wright, I've been Jay Tetsuko Rose, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Bye-bye!